Here's how you're going to manifest on the most powerful day of the year. Hello my powerful creators, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Candace. if you're new. On this channel we talk about manifestation, law of assumption, and personal development. And if you would like to become a powerful creator, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. In today's video we're going to be talking about how you can manifest on the most powerful day of the year, November 11th. This is the most powerful day of the year because it is the opening energy portal. And it's also so powerful because it's 11-11, also 2021, there's a one in there. I mean, there's so many great numbers that is surrounding us during this day. So this is such a great day for you to manifest on. Now this activity can be done any time of the day of on November 11th, but if you wanna make it a little more spicy, do it at 11, 11 a.m. or 11, 11 p.m. It's up to you. Just make sure you do it this on November 11th. If you're seeing this video after November 11th, you are still in luck to do this because energies usually last two to three days after the original day. I'm gonna read this so I don't forget. 1111 is an awakening code to higher levels of access to spirit and your highest divine truth. What that means is that this opening portal is so powerful that you are able to access and be in contact with higher levels of who you are, your highest good, your highest expectations, your highest everything in life. You are able to access that energy through this day. So powerful creators, what you need to do is get out a sheet of paper and pen. I would say more so that you would want to write this down. I know a lot of you want to use your notes app and all that stuff, but I strongly suggest writing it on paper because, and I think this in every technique that I've ever talked about, because even in the Bible, it talks about writing it in the stone. Like when you write it, you are declaring it you are saying this is it for you. So I want you to write this down. If you cannot write it down and you don't feel good about writing it down, then use your notes app, that is up to you. But my suggestion, cause I know I'll get comments, can I do it in notes app, can I do it? I suggest writing it down on paper. There's just some type of energy connection to that Manifestation coaches say this all the time, when you write it on paper, that's where the power starts and starts dwelling within you and you begin to be in your manifestations into your reality. And the first thing you're going to do is write down 11 things that you are currently grateful for and start each sentence with, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful that I can ride my bike today or I got to go outside or you know, my classes are amazing. I'm so grateful that my classes are amazing. I love my classes. Or you could say, you know, I'm so grateful that I have food on my table every single day. Whatever it is for you, I want you to write down 11 things that you are grateful for that are in your current life. The next thing I want you to do is write down 11 things that you loved that happened to you this year, 2021. What are 11 things that happen to you that you absolutely love? And I know you can find 11 things and start each sentence with, I love. I love that I was able to travel this year. I really am so grateful for that. I was able to go to Europe. That's something I will write down. Another thing that I'll write down is that I love that I've been able to connect with my powerful creators this year. It's been so awesome. I love that I was able to talk with my family a lot this year, even through COVID, and I'm getting ready to see them. Whatever that is for you that you love, start writing it down and write down 11 things. The third thing I want you to do is write down 11 things that you want to accomplish by the end of this year. You may think, Candace, there's only a month and a half or less, who knows where you, when you're seeing this video. But there's still 11 things that God can do in your life, that the universe can do in your life. And I want you to write each sentence, starting it with, I intend for, or I intend to. You know, you can say, I intend to work out twice a week before the end of 2021. I intend to drink more water before the end of 2021. 
it doesn't have to be these grand things like I intend to run a marathon by the end of the year. <laughs> you don't have to say anything like that. Don't make it so out there that you feel like pressured that you have to finish everything by the end of the year. But just give yourself some little movement, some little pushes. The universe is so proud of you when you bring some determination into your manifestations, into your life, into your life. That's what the universe is asking. When the universe sees you doing things like that, it's like, okay, now they're ready for their specific person. Now they're ready for their dream car, their dream house, or feeling that self-love. You know, that is where we're going. Because when we make these decisions for ourselves, we build more of a self-concept, more self-love, then things start working out in our life. So I want you to say, I intend for, or to have, or to be, before the end of 2021. So you're gonna write down 11 things. Now for the part I'm sure you all are wishing for. Now for the fourth part, you want to write down 11 things that you want to happen in 2022. And I want you to start each sentence with, I declare and decree that I am with my specific person or maybe you say, I declare and decree that I have my dream job in 2022. I declare and decree that I build muscle, I get better grades, I have a better workout routine, I'm talking to my parents more, like I have three best friends instead of just one best friend. I want you to declare and decree it. That just puts it in stone and especially the fact that you're writing it down on paper puts it in stone. And I want you to do that. I want you to do all four parts, 11 things for each part. That comes to the number 44. And the number 44 is the angel number for goals achieved. Goals will be achieved. Our goals are achieved, you know, acting as if. They are achieved. So what you write down is achieved. You've done your gratitude through this technique. You've said the things that you love about your life and what's going on and what happened this year. But you're also getting into the frequency of speaking things into existence. That's why this technique that I created is extremely powerful because it brings all the elements to manifest what you desire. Powerful creators, I want you to do whatever you desire with this paper. You can keep it, you can burn it, you can throw it away, it's up to you. I'm gonna keep mine because by the end of 2022, I wanna look back on my paper and be like, wow, everything worked out. Everything happened, everything that I declared to create, it worked out. You know, I wanna be able to see it, but that's, a, that's me, that's me. So whatever works for you, do that as well. But I want you to do this. Every time you see the number 1111 or the time, a date, whatever it is, you see numbers 1111, I want you to say thank you. Because you are just declaring gratitude over everything you've written down. And the universe is noticing that as soon as you do it. And I want you to think of your paper and just say thank you as if it's already happened. As if all the things that you decided you wanted in 2022 have already come true. And I want you to feel those feelings every single time you think of your paper and every single time you see the number 1111. Now powerful creators, I want you to write in the comments one of your declare and decrees. I wanna see them, I wanna speak over them, I want to send my energy to them because I want my powerful creators to experience their manifestations into their reality. So let's do it. Thank you so much powerful creators for watching. I know that November 11th will be the day for you, so have fun with this technique and really enjoy it. Today's powerful creator is Aesthetic. Aesthetic, thank you so much for being a part of the powerful creators community. I truly, truly appreciate your love and support. It means so much to me. If you would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell notification button and comment this secret word below. If you like this video, you like my next video on the three deadly words that are keeping you from your manifestations. Go watch that video next. Thank you again, powerful creators, for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.